Hello, Philosonia fans. My name is Brad Balliot, and I'm one of the composers being featured on May's concert. I'm really excited to have these exceptional musicians tackling my string trio for violin, viola, and cello, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to tell you a little bit about the piece. This piece is uh, slightly older for me. It comes from about 2013, and I wrote it in France at what I affectionately call counterpoint camp. Uh, from time to time, I feel like I should sharpen my skills of counterpoint, voice leading, sight singing, and that kind of thing. And uh, this particular summer, I went to a program called European American Musical Alliance at the Ecole Normale in Paris. And uh, as part of the program, we wrote for a string quartet in residence. And for some reason, sometimes being a little bit contrary as I am, I decided I'd rather tackle a string trio with the goal of making it sound as full and quartet-like as possible, even with just three players. So a lot of the writing is thick with double stops where the players play two or three notes at the same time to get that nice, full sound. I had in my ear the string trios of Beethoven and Doc Nanyi, which if you hear on the radio, you might call a string quartet without knowing that there are only three players because the writing is so magnificent and full, and that's what I was trying to achieve. The other thing that I was trying to achieve, maybe since it was at a program where we study so much Bach and other great uh, classical composers, was to try to make a piece that really hangs together well and is uh, born out of a single musical idea, which is the idea that you hear as soon as the piece starts. <clears throat> that rhythmic motive that can be turned this way and that, and then the melody that's a little bit more chromatic. It's a kind of simple idea, but it uh, gave me a lot of room to try turning things upside down and this way and that, and to try to get as much variety as possible as I could out of that little bit. Uh, so it's a one movement piece. It's a kind of standalone movement. It has a slightly less angular and more beautiful middle section. And then at the end, I combine that middle lyrical material with the kind of jagged rhythmic material from the beginning. I always enjoy being programmed on concerts along with music by my twin brother Doug who's the other composer that's being featured on this concert and even though we've had the same training and are very similar people in a lot of ways being identical twins our music does sound very different and part of it is that Doug writes a lot of vocal music and I write a lot of instrumental music and Doug's music uh, sometimes makes stronger references to the pop world, and my music sometimes makes stronger references to modernist music, although this is not always the case by any means. But I think that both of us, and I'd be curious if Doug agrees with this statement, would say that we respect the other person's music and kind of try to live up to the quality that the other one achieves. So I'm always thinking, how can I make my music uh, sound as beautiful as Doug's and be something that the audience will respond to right away, as I know that audiences do. Um, and in this piece, I think that comes out most clearly in the middle section, which has a kind of song-like vocal quality about it. So I hope that this is helpful. I cannot wait to hear these musicians perform this music and you will certainly not want to miss it. Thanks very much to Philosonia for playing this piece and uh, I'll look forward to it.